Jasu Hopai Logan, you have a Rockstar Kachachu Ki Shamataki. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of stuff coming out about Jeet KSX right now. I got two videos that I'm gonna share with you because apparently we're also getting this right now. We're hearing that why the Jeet KSX not hitting 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro though. That doesn't make sense. We're gonna talk about it. Like the video if you just want a good game. Dislike the video if you want uh, Lucia Buddha getting nerfed out. You want the shark cards, you want the GTA Plus. I wanna know where you guys are at with it, okay? But shout out to the homie Adiant. I wanna show you this and then we're gonna dive into the, the PS5 Pro situation too. Roll it. Well, last month there was a tweet from Moore's Mutual where they talked about how the September 2022 leaks happened. That was interesting on its own, but this bit at the end was what really caught my eye. It says that Rockstar India had been assigned to work on the entire Vice Beach area of the Holy. map, which should say enough of how big this game is going to be. Uh, I'm from Pakistan, right? So in Urdu, I would like to say, yaar, ye game agar and yeah, I agree. And Vice Beach is not just referring to the literal beach. We're talking about the strip of land called Vice Beach. Let's take a look at the speculative GTA Holy. 6 map from yeah. the mapping project. This entire area is being worked on by one studio. Rockstar Crazy. India has around 800 employees, if we believe what Wikipedia says. And to put that in perspective, Rockstar North, the studio that birthed GTA, has around 600 employees. If this tactic of one studio dedicated to one region is applied to the rest of the map... That's actually insane, though. It, this is insane that... An entire like department or, or, or I should say Rockstar Games India is working on that beach area like the small area holy that's crazy so who is working on what then okay so we now know that Rockstar India is working on that beach what about like the other areas on the map we could truly be in for something special allegedly Rockstar India did a lot of the heavy lifting on Red Dead Redemption 2 and that is one of the most detailed games I have ever played just walking around San Denis and taking the sights in is something special I can't even imagine what we are in for if that same level of detail is being applied to a modern yeah. day city yeah, yeah, with yeah, the game yeah, being yeah. worked on for as long as it has been I don't think it's an unreasonable assumption to think that every corner of this map will have had bought and care put into it uh, thank you for subscribing my man appreciate it but also this is a thing that is going around a lot right that you know you got this many npcs in the trailer but in the game <laughs> you just got a chihuahua man you just got a chihuahua right there uh, basically it's an exaggerated version right it's just like photoshop but a lot of people are now wondering that yeah we saw crazy amount of cars crazy amount of npcs in the actual trailer for that you would need like playstation 100 to be able to play that right so there's a whole lot of exaggeration like that too, and a lot of people are believing that we're not gonna have that many NPCs, and that's a valid, valid uh, question. That is a valid question. What are your thoughts on that one? Because, yeah, are we gonna have the same level of detail that we saw in the trailer actually in the game, or not that much though? It's gonna be interesting, man. It's gonna be interesting. I also like to get ahead of the people online who keep saying that people's expectations are too high. I don't think that's the case yeah. for the most part. No, sure, no, no, there are no. some people who are hoping to see stuff in the game that will simply not happen, like every building being enterable. But Rockstar yeah. has always been known for the detail they add to their maps. Even going back... Uh, facts, facts. And recently, the games that have been coming out, that has lowered down everybody's expectations naturally for every video games, right? Let's be real. Let's be real. GTA 3, the detail and care to each block of Liberty City is noticeable. Looking at GTA 4, I think this version of Liberty City is the best indicator of the overwhelming scale of Ice Beach with every corner filled with buildings towering over you. I mean, look at this shot from the trailer. For starters, that skyline is massive. I'm really looking forward to just getting lost in the city. But looking down, these balconies all look like they have something going on. Some have plants, others have chairs, some have their lights on, others don't. And yeah. on the right side, there's this walking path that leads away from the small road. I think this is interesting because it probably has utility in this fictional world for the fictional people that inhabit it. I'm assuming this is some sort of storage shed for landscape maintenance, or maybe it's just a bigger working space for those who work at the toll booth at the center of this frame. Whatever its use is, it's just cool that Rockstar has added some extra details that make the world feel more alive. Sure, you probably yeah. wouldn't miss it if this building in the path were not there, but it's the small things that help fiction feel more real. And taking a look at true, the scene where Lucia true. and Jason are walking through the gas station, it seems like everything on the shelves is an actual modeled item, rather than the textures we got in GTA 5's gas stations. Also, there are a ton of videos from the 2022 leaks that show how much detail there's going to be in the cities, but I obviously can't show any of that here, so you'll just have to take my word for it if you haven't seen it. And what's really crazy about those leaks is that we're looking at a game that is still very unfinished, but at the same time, it already looks really promising in terms of the map detail. I think one of my favorite things in Rockstar games is replaying a game years after I had first played it and finding new details in the world that I just never noticed before. This yeah. happened many times on my last playthrough of GTA 5. Honestly, ever since we saw the GTA 6 trailer, going back to GTA 5, man, it, it doesn't hit the same though. You know what I mean? GTA 5, don't get me wrong, I love this game, bro. Story-wise, amazing. It's a masterpiece. Single player, I'm not talking multiplayer with like the GTA pluses, the shark cards and all that, okay? Not talking about that, but GTA 5, like single player, amazing. I love. It's one of the best story and I remember playing a year and a half ago at this point or two years ago, somewhere around that, right? Still loved it and I feel like I'm eventually gonna replay most probably right before GTA 6 comes out. That's when I'm probably gonna... Uh, Re replay again i want to show you guys like this uh, video in a second as well but uh after seeing the trailer looking at gta5 man 
it's not the same bro it ain't the same man it ain't the same especially like the emptiness though the emptiness is wild i feel like this is just gta online um maybe i'm wrong maybe even in the gta 5 the roads are this empty could be wrong. Five. And specifically, I remember closely reading some billboards as I was driving around and realized that I had just not paid much attention to them before, especially the ones out in Blaine County. I'm pretty sure that I was reading a lot of those for the first time. Anyway, yeah. the main point of this video was- On the highway, you got some cars, but this one, I guess it's still loading. It, it is loading, right? So yeah, that's the thing that it just, uh, yeah, I hope that we don't have this problem in GTA 6. To just say that GTA 6 is going to be so insanely detailed that we're probably still going to be discovering new things five years after the game is released. And facts, personally, facts. I'm still undecided on how I'm going to be playing GTA 6 when it first comes out. Because in the past, I've... Uh, use your controller, brother. Use your controller. Bruh. Really just gone straight from one mission to the next without stopping to explore the maps, but I might try to take things slower with this game. I mean, there's only ever going to be one time that you get to play GTA 6 for the first time. I might as well True. make it count. So what... No, facts. Absolutely, 100%. It's not like that we're going to get GTA 7, right? Right? But I want to show you guys this. Why the G why GTA 6 not hitting 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro argument is overblown and it don't make sense. Hopefully that's true. Shout out to Gaming Bolt. Let's see. There's been a lot of discussion since the PlayStation 5 Pro's reveal, from further speculation about its specs, especially since other things from earlier reports line up, to who it's really for. Analysts predict it will sell as well as the PS4 Pro, with Sony yeah, Interactive's yeah, yeah, yeah. Hideaki Nishino coincidentally telling Nikkei that it comprised about 20% of the PS4 total's lifetime sales, instead of Bruh. the 15% some were throwing out. However, one of the most back-and-forth discussions is actually something that was debated for months before the PS5 Pro's official reveal. Will Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 6 run at 60 frames per second yeah, on the console? Yeah, that's the age-old question, man. Suckers so just wanna know, will it be able to hit the 60 FPS? Will the Lucia Bruna be able to take gigabytes away from your hard drive, your SSD? The answer is yes! The answer is yes, it's gonna take gigabytes away from your SSD, but that's okay though. That's okay though, we just wanna know if the Lucia Bruna is gonna be in 30 FPS or 60 FPS. That's a real question though, and seconds wanted in 60 FPS. Like the video if you want it in 60 FPS too, Kaji. So, why GTA 6? Not only is it the most anticipated game of the next year among fans, but perhaps the industry as a whole. Speaking yeah, to Games yeah, yeah, Industries, yeah. Sircana Matt Piscatella said there's probably Piscatella. never been a more important thing to ever release in the industry. Yeah, Ignore that Grand Theft Auto V shipped about 200 million units, the reveal trailer for GTA 6 has a whopping 209 yeah. million views in about 9 months. Guys, let's go for two likes on the video, man. You know I'm saying, you know I'm saying. Real quick though, before I show you the next thing, I want to say if you guys are into UFOs and conspiracies, I have a second channel. This is where we upload every single day, man. Conspiracy content every single day. Uh, especially th this is the type of content that you would love at night. Okay, if you guys like, if you guys got Instagram, I would love to have you there too. Links are always in the pinned comment. I let you get back to the content here, Kaji. Say that the hype is palpable would be an understatement. However, as with hype, there will also be rampant speculation, good and bad, over how it will look, whether the current generation of consoles can handle it, etc. CNET's yeah. preview of how the Pro CPU is the same Ryzen Zen 2 as the base console further feeds into reports that the only difference is a high CPU frequency mode, to boost the clock speed up to 3.85 GHz from 3.5, a somewhat disappointing 10% increase, if Bruh. true. Yeah. Sony yeah. hasn't officially confirmed or denied this, even if other aspects- They're saying 67 person uh, compute units of 28% faster RAM. I mean, get mama with that, bro. Get mama with that, bruh. We want, gamers just want to know, is it going to be 60 FPS or not? Because even on the normal PS5 and Xbox console, you got like 8K 120 FPS, bro. <laughs> and games struggling to hit 4K 30 FPS native, right? Usually, usually, some games, I mean, on Xbox, it's like a lot worse. But for PlayStation, yes, you get like the, you know, fidelity mode or uh, there's also performance mode. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, man, I'm cool with performance mode on GTA 6, though. Give me that 60 FPS and I'm good, bruh. Like the video if you agree, bro. Aspects of the leaks have been true. 45%. The CPU faster. is a major factor because open world titles, like, say, Grand Theft Auto V, leverage it in different ways, like its population density and variety. Reducing these, among other things, can help improve the CPU performance. Mm -hmm. As such, mm -hmm. if the PS5 Pro CPU isn't a tremendous upgrade over the base version, then Grand Theft Auto VI clearly won't run at 60 FPS on the console. <laughs> yeah, the way he kicked him, though. Come on! Yeah, I love this game, bro. GTA V is really good. I don't know how how they're gonna top it. I know some of you say that, no, Skizzle, they top it with RDR2. Nah, you're right, you're right. Red Dead Redemption 2 is amazing. I only have one hour in it. Uh, Bruh. But, but from what I played, it was amazing. I'm, I'm gonna eventually get down to it, bro. I'm gonna, I promise I'll play. Eventually, I'll get down to it. Hopefully. But this game just... But still, like, people... You know, it's the... 
we all have that question like how are they gonna I'm not talking graphically. I'm not talking graphically, guys. I'm talking about like gameplay and the story and the missions. The type of missions that we had in GTA 5 were really, really good. So how are they gonna top that? Comments about how arrogant Sony is back and the PS5 Pro is dead on arrival. Now the Pro has some issues like the absurd pricing and demanding additional money for yeah. a disc drive and vertical Crazy. stand. Don't Crazy. even get me started on how much Europe and Australia must pay. Crazy. And Canada, bro, like it's 1100 plus taxes uh, if you want vertical stand and PS5 Pro, disk drive, everything, right? It's gonna be like 1200 but if you don't get the vertical stand, you get PS5 Pro with taxes and the disk drive, it's gonna be somewhere around 1100 Canadian, the maple dollar, right? Like it's crazy. Let me know where you guys at, what city, what country. Let me know your uh, ca uh, currency rate for this uh, crap, bro. It's insane. The problem with the whole argument about GTA 6 not running at 60 FPS is that it doesn't make much sense for several reasons firstly there's an absolute lack of information for the title you could argue yeah, that the reveal yeah, trailer yeah, is all yeah. real time and in game and it very well may be given how rockstar does things but we yeah. haven't seen how it plays what improvements Facts. have been made to driving are Facts. the dashboards of the various vehicles realistic enough how does the movement look are the shooting mechanics different how extensive is the world design can we enter all the buildings we've seen thus far? What nah, new activity? Probably not. We had leaks and rumors that said that 70% of all the buildings are gonna be enterable. But you know, for that you need like PlayStation 200, bro. Like, come on, man. Bruh. You would need PlayStation 200 for that. These can we look forward to? Rockstar has been tight-lipped about everything. Forget performance. They are, yeah. We don't even know how it's going to run on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Forget diving into options on the PS5 Pro. Uh, and just quick little information, they're having their investor call on November the 6th. Uh, I'll surely live stream, so hit the subscribe bell. And uh, yes, yeah, so of course, rumors are swirling. That's when they're gonna announce trailer two, or perhaps release it as well. Because last year they announced the the first trailer in November during their investor call, right? And the trailer came in December. So similar stuff can happen. I mean, already a lot of people are believing we're gonna get trailer two before the end of the year, and it's possible. It is possible. If it's not this year, then I guess it's gonna be next year, though. <laughs> you know, it's now. But I, I think this year or early next year if it's not this year but i think it's likely we're gonna get it this year i hope we get it this year though trailer two we need to see man we need to see more bruh oh if you want to assume anything grand theft auto 5 is a good place to start it has three graphical modes on ps5 fidelity performance and performance rt there is a precedent for the developer implementing different modes on more powerful hardware. However, remember that it was originally released for the PS3 and Xbox 360 before coming 100%. to PS4, Xbox One, 100%. and PC, and then the current gen console. Because after all, GTA 5 is still a PS3 game. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, they have remastered for PS4, and that was very good. Then they then the PC version came out, that was very, very good. Then we had the PS5 version, right? Yeah, so that was like slightly better, but not too big of a deal. Yeah, the PC version is basically the supreme, but in certain aspects, could be wrong though, when the PS5 and Xbox Series X version came out, they had like better like foliage kind of, better explosion. I'm not sure if those upgrades carried over to PC in an update or not, that part I'm not sure, but of course, other than that, PC is always supreme though, so. Fire in the hole! Still a PS3 game though, you know, it's crazy. It's hard time to optimize and improve performance for the latest hardware. And while you could argue about how much of that work will translate to GTA 6, it's the precedent more than anything. Rockstar mm. knows that fans want mm. to experience their game in 60 FPS. Mm. How much priority facts, is it facts. over ensuring the game runs well in current gen hardware? Probably less so, but your guess is as good as mine. Of course, this isn't just the developer's precedent. Console lead architect Mark Cerny talked about how 75% of PS5 players opted for performance mode while playing games. He then 100%, bro, 100%, like, because uh, the graphically the difference isn't that big of a deal. People want the game feeling smooth. People don't want to run around in a game feeling like that they got hit by a stun grenade or something, right? And like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people want that 60 FPS. Gamers want that 60 FPS, bro. Give the gamers 60 FPS. That's a brown man I demand. I demand. I demand GTA 6 to be 60 FPS. Like the video if you agree. Guys, this was the last video that we've done. We had news on the trailer too. We got gameplay leaks. We had everything in that video. Check this video out. We have our PS5 Pro graphics as well check it out and i'll see you right there if you already seen it then check out the video on the left